Oh my god, a voiceover vid! Hooray! You guys asked some questions in my Instagram story about my art and my life, so I'm gonna answer some of them, but not all of them. So the first question is, who are the artists that inspired me? Well, Rebecca Sugar, to make uh, Kindle Flink, and whoever the hell the artist is who painted a painting of my grandmother in Paris in our living room. Wait, no. I think it was a charcoal drawing. Yeah, it was a charcoal drawing, not a painting. How did I find my art style? I kind of forced myself to find my art style. I looked at what I liked about other artists' art styles, and I integrated them into mine. What programs do I use? I'm actually filming on my phone right now. Kind of funny. Yeah, I use Adobe Illustrator Draw. Adobe? 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 Anyway, I like it because it makes clean lines. Color palette. So when I'm choosing a color palette for my watercoloring, I always think to myself, do I want warm colors or do I want cool colors? And when I'm decided, I stick with those colors to create a color palette and I mix and match with different hues. It's pretty easy for digital art because you can search up color palettes online. Where am I from? I'm from the Philippines! Yay! I listen to Forum Spades. How did I come up with my username? Okay, so I'm gonna try to make this short and quick. So Ellie Bandia from the Eraserheads wrote in my favorite OPM song, Ang Huling El Bimbo, Kamukamo Si Paraluman, which is basically the stage name of an actress from Sampaguita Pictures named Sofia Agatha Von Geis, and she was a darling. Basically, Paraluman is another word for muse or artistic inspiration. Any tips for drawing backgrounds? So, my philosophy for drawing backgrounds is that you should make everything look natural, but also in a clutter. So, kind of like when you're drawing somebody in a room, and you want to show what type of room this is. You have to add all the things that are necessary to that room, but you also have to make it a clutter so that it looks aesthetically pleasing to the eyes. What type of music do I like? Show my rice, 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 show my rice. That was a joke, I was being sarcastic. But I do like OPM and um, lo fi. I'm stuck with having all my characters having the same face. Have you dealt with this? Um, actually, yeah, I have dealt with this, and the way I try to fix it is that I try to notice the different features of every person by looking at real-life people, and, you know, you know, when people say that they have this feature, then you gotta integrate it into your art if you want to draw them. As much as possible, um, try to line up your characters and make sure that they have the different faces and compare them to one another. Does it annoy me when I'm compared to other artists? No, not at all, I'm not annoyed. Anyway, it's a good thing even, cause you can see that you're improving the same way that they did. And you can't judge somebody for having a similar art style as another person. You can't copyright an art style. You can't directly copy an art style. But you can copy art and that's the bad thing. So yeah. We're all human, so we all have similarities, so you shouldn't be mad when, when, when you're compared to another artist, because it's their opinion if your art style looks similar or not. It's very hard to have like a really distinct art style, but you should not be mad when people are um, using your art style as well, because they're taking inspo from you, and yeah. But anyway, that's my belief, so yeah, go ahead, go be mad. So yeah, anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching my Q&A video with voiceover. I'm sorry if my voice sounds annoying. I don't want to annoy people, but I'm also sorry if I wasn't able to answer any of your questions. Yeah, but here's a turtle eating some leaves and I'm petting them. So that's it. <laughs> Mama Mary loves you, bye.